being a threading noob. So, before Harry Potter came out, there was a comic book called Books of Magic by by Neil Gaiman, and it stars like this, you know, plucky youngster with glasses learning how to do magic, and the look of the main character was the main thing that everyone was like, huh? When Harry Potter came out, everyone who was familiar with the comics, it's like a Vertigo comic. But I think Neil Gaiman has been like pretty cool about it. Like I, I don't think he really thinks there was anything malicious about 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 how similar they are. Okay, now we can add these. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, okay. Here we are. Let's actually leave a little gap just in case I want to disassemble this. There's a little gap here that I, if I press harder, it'll close. It'll clamp down. But let's leave it at that in case I want to open that up. Okay, so... <laughs> So here's like the one step that I can do super quick. A3. We're making the bow can here. Ta-da! We're done. That's the one step for this wooden sword. Definitely seems like something that needs to be painted to make it look like more Easy operation. <laughs> that kind of scared me, I'm not going to lie. I might tone down the volume on that a bit. And I'll also have to adjust the uh, the raid, the length of the raid uh, thing. Animation. Lasted a little too long. There you go. Easy operation. Mission complete. Now here's the last one that we're going to do. And it's the, uh, the Shinai if I recall correctly. But there is a katana kit. I might get that because I honestly thought this was it. <clears throat> and then I was like, oh, they're supposed to be like wooden weapons, not like, they're not supposed to be like an actual katana. And let's just cut out all these parts. And we're close to wrapping things up, guys. Very, very close. I have to kind of clean up these parts a little better. Uh, but generally, just getting the general assembly. So we did a fair amount today. We uh, put together... Put together this. We put together a bit of my Sosai Shoujo Teian model painted up uh, the base of uh, the exoframe, so yeah, not bad. Not a bad amount of progress today. IMO. And again, this seems like something that would benefit painting. It's there's There are some details, like the individual strands of bamboo, like what do you want to call them, like the slats the slats of bamboo that comprise this thing you could kind of like do a, a, a panel lining pin wash whatever you want to call it capillary action ink wash to kind of get the details out on those no big deal but yeah I feel more comfortable about painting stuff like this this like the accessories the incidental stuff rather than like the model because I feel like I might mess up the model. <laughs> okay. I'm not even really looking at the instructions. I'm assuming they want these two pieces to meet. Yes, they do. Very uh, predictable. Ooh, that could be a good sound bite. Predictable. I saw that there's a uh, extension for Twitch where you can uh, actually mm, show off your uh, 
your Instagram account and just have it kind of going on in the background. So that might be a good idea to kind of show off some of the models that I painted. I think that's what it does. I hope it doesn't show my likes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Clamp this down. Just kind of press down at the base here. Okay, and then this little cap thing kind of goes right there. And what do you know? It's a Shinai. Let's just kind of clean up a little bit here. But I can do a little better job of this. and. Kind of, I kind of feel like painting this just because it's it'd be kind of easy. You know, I was in a PG Kami stream earlier today, and he was painting a base as well. He was painting the base for a diorama that he's working on, and it's actually looking really nice. The diorama, the idea that he has, really cool. But um, he was showing off his backlog, and I was like, damn. That is a backlog. He's got a lot. It's just like so many kits, so much stuff. Some really nice models too that he's got lined up, including some of those Marvel ones. I'm very interested in uh, in how those kind of turn out, the Marvel stuff. I forget the company that produces them, but it's not Bandai and it's not Kotobukiya. It's not Good Smile. It's like, I think it might be a Chinese company, I think. Uh, Bacon, not sure how that extension works. I should test it out since I don't have anything too sensitive on Instagram. Yeah, neither do I. Although if it shows me, if it shows off like the things that I've liked, uh, that might be an issue. Uh, no, I think I like mostly fairly innocent stuff, I think. Fairly, uh, nothing too spicy. Some of my follows, though. Uh-oh. Yeah, we can get, we can kind of go in and do a better job of this, but pretty cool. I love these modeling supply good kits because they're so. Twitter, on the other hand, ellipses. <laughs> it's a cesspool. <laughs> I love these modeling supply goods stuff just because they're it's just cool little kits, right? That you can make some stuff and they'll be neat and you can use them for different things. You can use them for your for various models. Maybe not even Sosai Shoujo Tain, maybe not even your Megami device. Maybe you want to put them in the hand of like a big Gundam or something. Maybe. It's too big. The <laughs> it's too big to put in his hand. But that would be pretty funny. So tomorrow, maybe I'll do a, a spray coat on this. Yeah, it's too big. <laughs> this is more made for like one tenth scale models, or this will look good for a one tenth scale model, I think. But yeah, they don't really say, like they show here the SST models holding it and it looks really good, but I'm sure that you could put this for like a Gundam and it might look kind of interesting if you want to make like a really weird kind of out of scale kind of thing. Bacon, come to think of it, I don't really like any of the pics I see on Twitter. I should do that more often. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, uh, I do engage with Twitter probably more than than you guys, but at the same time, I don't really take it seriously because it's just crap. But I have actually gotten some jobs out of Twitter, so I can't say it's entirely that bad. Uh, it's just it's just one of those things where it's it's kind of changed over the years, I guess. But it's all up to you how much you want to engage with social media, right? I think the less the better <laughs> in some respects. 
the thing about like when it comes to you know liking and and all of that stuff i think that especially for something like youtube it's really useful the metrics do count in some respects and you know i i used to be the kind of guy that would watch a video it doesn't interest me i'll close it out move on to the next thing even if i do like it i'll just watch it and then i'll close it next thing but lately because we've been making videos and we're kind of engaging in this whole thing i i do sort of know that like people appreciate those likes you know if you watch a video and you actually do think it's kind of useful even at the bare minimum like you thought it was kind of good you know they appreciate the likes because it helps with the matrix matrix <laughs> it helps with the matrix it helps with the metrics liking i might not necessarily subscribe to them that's more a thing where if they are making videos like frequently and if it's content that i like i'll uh you know i'll throw them a subscribe it's free right it's not a big deal and it helps a lot because you know i'm someone that's making videos on youtube and i'm practically a nobody right but every little bit helps when i get like i'm excited when i get like when i get into the double digits in views <laughs> for for my videos i get hyped for double digits <laughs> so yeah i think we're gonna end it here guys We've did a decent amount of stuff. We have streamed for actually a little longer than normal, so that's cool. No, no big deal. And we talked about a lot of things. We even got a raid. So thank you, PG Kami, for the raid. We showed off some of our some new channel rewards, and there's more to come. But for now, we'll just say this. <laughs> Mission complete. And I'll catch you guys later. All right, GG. Easy operation. <laughs> anyone, anyone else got more in you? <laughs> All right, guys. Catch you later.